Oh, sorry, we were having a bit of a chat. Lots of a chat. Hey, how you doing? Stranger things. I mean, stranger things have happened. How did you feel when that happened? Mate, uh, honoured, I think, you know. It's a big responsibility, but I had lots of fun and I'm happy with the result and have had really good uh, feedback in the last fortnight. So, yeah, I'm really lucky. Did you watch the first season as a massive fan or was it sort of something that you... Huge fan, mate. Big fan. I mean, wasn't everybody. I feel like I binged it in one night and I got calls within the weeks from all of my friends saying that they'd, uh, they'd binged it. So, How would you explain to anyone watching who, I, I can't believe that they wouldn't have seen Stranger Things though, but how would you explain it to them in a couple of sentences what the show's actually about? I don't know. I think it's like a more supernatural version of The Goonies. Yep. Um, it echoes back to there. Um, it's kind of scary like It, the kids. It's yep. coming of age story. So I think it sort of adheres to all age demographics. My parents watched it, my grandparents watched it, I watched it, my little sister watched it. Um, and it's so nice to watch everyone growing up now. All the, all the boys, yeah. their voices are dropping and, and a lovely crew to work with, lovely, lovely cast rather. So it was, yeah, it was really good. Perth boy. Perth boy, born yeah. and raised. Your dad's a Kiwi though. Dad's Kiwi, mum's a yeah. Canadian. So do you follow the All Blacks? Look, mate, my stepdad <laughs> is Australian and I'm Australian, so there yep. might be some Wallabies in there. Okay. Um, but, yeah, All Blacks as well, And uh, but I'm a mix, mix of everything. Yeah. Uh, GQ Men of the Year Awards, is this your first one? Yep. It's my first time and uh, very excited. It's a beautiful venue. So. Yep. Um, what would you say in 2017 is, I guess, your definition of a gentleman? 17ers? Uh, what do you mean? In the year 2017, what your oh, definition would be of 17 a, a gentleman? Yeah. I like this colloquialism. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think a, de a definition of a gentleman is being chivalrous. As cliche, as cliche as it sounds, I mean, it's so important to, to take care of women, look after women, surround yourself with women. I think that's a really important thing to do. Um, clothes, styling, fashion, yeah. smell, everything, what you wear, how you look, how you talk to people, everything... Even if you're not talking to anyone, you can see in somebody's body language if they're moving, how they're walking. I think it all kind of goes into that classy nature that we associate with the word gentleman. Yeah. Um, but it's also not by what you wear in the car you drive. Yeah. It's how you act, you know, if you're a nice person. So Something quite topical and big news today was the yes vote. With Sam. I heard about this. Hey. Yeah. That was my next question. What, what's your opinion on that? Oh, mate, I think it's great. You know, I've grown up, my family's all about it. We, we're jumping for joy. I got a call from my mum this morning. I voted yes. You know, we all, um, yeah, I think it's a very happy day and a, a super positive response on my Facebook, on every news feed, and it's just great. I've got people in the States yeah. sort of tagging me, messaging me, going, this is an amazing day for Australia. And um, yeah. So I'm going to throw happy. one more question yeah, at you. Yeah, go for it. If you could pick one person right now to work with, who hard. would it be? Leo. Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio. Not an Australian. How dare I? Uh, no, that was the Australian. one Aussie then, one Aussie. Yeah, uh, I don't know, Hugh. Um, well, I'm working on Ned Kelly, and there's an all-star Australian cast on that, so I'm extremely excited. Great. Have Mate. a lovely night. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.